Hey Collective, it's your girl. It's your girl Stace, here to do an energy read. I wasn't really going to get on today, but you know. So I'm just going to do a general reading just to say hey to y'all, see what's going on. Maybe y'all need an update, so I'm going to give it to you. Remember that time is fluid, so whenever this, when you see this message, it's when you're meant to see it. It's a general reading and it may not resonate with everyone. So please only take what resonates and leave the rest. Ooh, my spirit. What's the message for the collective spirit, please? And thank you. What do they need to know today? Hope all is well. Today is the 15th of August, Thursday. Okay, we got the Eight of Swords in Reverse. So, somebody's not stuck, okay? Somebody sees things very clearly, all right? They're not confused. They're not stuck. They're not, they're not stagnant. Maybe they're just sitting and just waiting. I don't know. What's going on here, Spirit? Somebody's coming out of that energy, though. I know that much. We got the King of Pentacles, okay? Stable, okay? Confident, money maker, hard worker, you know? Take care of people. We, ooh, all these cards falling on my hand. Lord have mercy. We got the Queen of Wands, and then we got the Death card. Come on now, somebody. Oh, hang on, y'all. Oh, I gotta get my ass up. <laughs> uh, and the Queen of Pentacles. Ooh, what's going on here? So we got a King of Pentacles and a Queen of Wands. I feel like this King of Pentacles is not stuck anymore. It's not trapped. It's not tricked by this Queen of Wands. There's an ending coming in. A death, some kind of ending, and then we got the Queen of Pentacles, which is the King of Pentacles true match. So this King of Pentacles is dealing with a uh, a Jezebel spirit, uh, a fire sign. Okay, somebody very controlling, very um, oh no, child. Let's keep going. They're both very strong individuals, but with this Queen of Pentacles, this Queen of Pentacles is different from them too. This Queen of Pentacles is a quiet energy. This Queen of Wands is, is a loud, boisterous kind of energy. This is the kind of person that likes to be seen. Okay? Take it how it resonates. Oh, thank you, Spirit. So this Queen of Wands had this King of Pentacles confused and, and, and stuck about something about something that they did this queen of wands could be holding um could be blackmailing this king of pentacles because this king of pentacles is not in the eight of swords they're not trapped by what they did you know because the eight of swords energy is somebody that's trapped behind from their own devices from shit that they did you know they cause their own you know demise but this this King of Pentacles is not in that in that energy anymore. This person's coming out of that stuck energy. They call, they listen. Somebody is ending something with this Queen of Wands. I'm telling you now. This King of Pentacles, and Queen of Wands. That's about to be a wrap. If this person wants to end this situation with this Queen of Wands. This Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, bring a depth to the situation because that Queen of Pentacles is who they really want. Somebody could have caused these people to separate. Look how this Queen of Pentacles looks. She looks a little sad, right? Hurt, left. But she's still stable. She's still grounded. She's still who she is. She just doesn't have her partner with her. You hear me? She's still a very strong individual by herself. And that's where her focus is. This King of Pentacles looks more like the type that likes to have people around them, right? Like to show off. Like to have the little yes men around. Show off their money, their wealth, their status. This person could have been um, very materialistic. Here we go with the with the pretty one, right? The pretty girl with the boobs and the big butt, right? I can do you better. You know, this listen, look at the difference between these two women. One's very quiet and one's very loud. You hear me? This person could have uh, material wealth, okay? Uh, material things, possessions, which is probably what what draw this king of pentacles to her. Alright, but like I said, this person ain't stuck no more. This person recognizes that 
you know, they may have made some bad choices, especially when it comes to this Queen of Pentacles, okay? And they may have stayed because they were stuck and they were ashamed, you know, they were trapped by the choices that they made. Maybe they feel stupid for taking for choosing this this Queen of Wands. But anyway, let's keep going. What's going on here, Spirit? What comes up next? So there's definitely an ending coming. So someone wants to have a rebirth with this Queen of Pentacles, but I don't know how that's gonna go down because we don't know what this Eight of Swords in reverse is that this King of Pentacles has done. Alrighty then, but oh damn. Look at this, look at this. The star, the ten of pentacles. And the Three of Cups playing in the magic. Wow, it backfired. Something backfired. With the star, this is a healing energy, right? With the star and the Ten of Pentacles bringing something together. A home, a, a relationship, right? Maybe somebody tried to um, heal a situation with somebody from their past. All right, somebody that they had a relationship with in the past, that they had a home with, they had some kind of union, some kind of uh, um, a family dynamic, home dynamic, okay? Then we got the Three of Cups, backfire, something backfire. There was a collaboration, and this is falling on this Queen of Wands and the Death card. I feel like this Eight of Wands, Eight of Swords, I'm sorry, in reverse, and this star, this is this King of Pentacles um, failing to heal a situation. Oh, yeah. They failed to heal a situation. This could have been a marriage, a union, some kind of union. They didn't work to, to, to heal this Ten of Pentacles. Then we got the Three of Cups here. Something backfired. There was a collabor with... Mm, there was definitely a collaboration, but it backfired with this Three of Cups. Maybe somebody thought that they could, that they could, um, they caused an ending. The death is right here. It's right, it's, it's so, they caused an ending between two people. This third party caused an ending between two people. This was a Ten of Pentacles. This was, this was, uh. Spirit, give me something else. This was a home. This was a foundation. This was something that was meant to be. But because somebody wanted to add a third party to the situation, all that shit done fell apart. Or something they were doing. But this three of cups, this gives me magic. This gives me ritual. This gives me cult energy. All right? Look at that. Two or one. Somebody's trying to make a decision what to do, which way to go. Somebody's making a choice. After this death, somebody's putting an ending to this. I believe, you know what I believe? I believe this King of Pentacles found out that this Queen of Wands was into um, some dark shit. Mm hmm. That's why this person is, is caught, is uh, trying to, to uh, cut this person off and go in a different direction. They want to go towards this Queen of Pentacles. All right? Cause they ain't feeling stuck no more and they recognize somebody wants to heal a relationship you know they somebody's coming out of that that shame that guilt that regret and somebody is making a decision to let go of a third party because they found out this third party works is playing in divination and playing in our uh, dark magic all right this could be this person could go to church maybe they it's like some kind of coven all right. I don't know, child. It could be a religious group. Take it how it resonates. What's going on here with this Queen of Pentacles? What's oh the Empress? Wow, she was like, that's who I am. The Empress. Look at that. You could have children with this person. All right, you could be a mother, but you are the Empress. You embody all the queens. You know how to handle yourself. You know how to conduct yourself. You're not out here trying to convince anybody of your value, of your worth. 
that's why when I said look how quiet she is right she's not in the energy of I'm better than it's just like this is somebody that allows shit to play out that's what I'm talking about because somebody knows they worth this is the queen of pentacles empress they know their worth what are they going to be arguing fussing and fighting over somebody for let them find out on their own right this is a f around and find out moment and I feel like somebody f around and found out that the grass was not greener on the other end on the other side or across the street or down the street whatever take it out it resonates somebody found out something that somebody was playing in some shit that done backfired on their ass Ooh, spirit somebody could have been trying to uh, do love love spells on this this king of pentacles I feel like that backfired Ooh. I don't know why I'm hearing this but these people could have also like brought people into their bedroom I'm just saying third parties yes mm -hmm. yes yes they did yes they did yes the spirit ten of cups look at this right on the star in the ten of pentacles wish fulfillment you were somebody's wish fulfillment Listen, and somebody stole it. They stole it. They got bamboozled. That's what they did. They got bamboozled by being deceptive. They were being deceptive. They were sneaking around, right? Dealing with this. You look, you were the ace of cups. Look at this. And the high priestess. I cannot make this up. Yes, this person was sneaking around with this third party while they were in a relationship with you. Yes, they were. Yes, they were. Back and forth, back and forth, collaborating with this person. Yes, yes, they're showing me, yes. They were, do, they were dealing with this person. This person was a third party in your relationship the whole time. This uh, fire sign. Aries Leo Sagittarius energy. This Queen of Wands was in your relationship the whole time. Mm-hmm. Spirit, what's this message? Wheel of Fortune. There's a change. There's a shift. Here it come. That's where this. That's where the backfire is coming. There's a change. They didn't see this coming. Something has shifted in the air. Yep. Look, nine of pentacles. Nine of cups. Greedy, selfish, self-centered. Hmm. What's changed? Yeah. Something done backfired. That's what's changed. Wheel of Fortune. Hmm. Things ain't what they used to be. Hmm. Everything that goes up must come down. I'm hearing. Ooh, come on, spirit. What we got here? Man, listen. Everything that goes up must come down. You hear me? I can't make it up. Tower. Eight of cups. Man, listen. <laughs> come on, spirit. Thank you, spirit. Thank you, thank you, thank you. for the call. Listen, chariot. Ooh, eight of cups in the chariot. Somebody, like, listen, justice. You walked away from this. You let this tower fall. That's what you did. That's what you did. You're the Empress. The tower and the Eight of Cups in reverse. Ah, oh, this Eight of Cups in reverse. Well, you know, I can look at it as somebody doesn't don't want to walk away. But also I can look at somebody as walking away and ain't no coming back. And then you got the chariot. You hear me? This is forward movement. Unstoppable movement. Right, right, right. Justice. Because it's justice. There was an injustice here. They were playing with you. All right, they were playing with you, but they they about to they feeling it. And whoever, look, that's both of them coming out that tower. You hear me? You hear me? Somebody was hidden. Somebody was hidden. They kept this third party hidden. Mm-hmm. This third party was ringing the bells. This third party was calling the shots. You hear me? Thank you, spirit. Mm-hmm. Yep, yep, yep. Oh shit. Child, listen. Let me tell you something. You see these two people here? And you see that right there? There could be a hit, a child that was hidden. You hear me? Somebody could have had a child that's been hidden. That you don't know about with this third party. There could be a hidden child. You hear me? That's coming out. That's about to come out. I'm trying to tell you something. And with this eight of cups in the reverse, now it makes more sense. Ain't no turning back. Ain't no returning. Okay? Once you once you walked away from this situation, when this comes out, you walk away from this. It ain't no it, look, and there go the cherry. Ain't no more spirits that put it over there. Ain't no more going back. Ain't no more fixing it. Okay, so maybe that's what this. Remember, I told you somebody was trying to keep somebody um, 
blackmailing somebody. This person, they could have had a baby together. They could have had a baby together. Now, now, peep this. If this was a third party, if this was somebody that was, was being hidden, I'm going to just say this just like it is. There, there may be a child, but it may not be your, your person's child. Okay? And I'm only saying your person just for reference. Not saying that you're with this person. Listen. Three of Wands. There's, there's some, something coming out about that. I promise you. We got the King of Wands. Ooh. Who this? King of Wands? Ten of Pentacles? I mean the Nine of Pentacles? What am I saying? Lord have mercy. Nine of Pentacles? Who's this King of Pentacles on this Ten of Cups? This Jesus Christ. Who is this King of Pentacles that won't leave me the fuck alone? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Oh my God, this King of Pentacles is just like, uh-uh, uh-uh. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh. King of Wands, though. With the Ten of Cups. What's this, ten, this King of Wands spirit? Is this King of Wands connected to this Queen of Wands? Or is this somebody new in the picture? But a King of Wands... Alright, I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna do say it like this. A King of Wands is usually somebody that I don't really like. Alright, because I feel like they're very, um, I don't know. They just give me the energy of, they think they're cute, they they good looking, you know, they feel like they can have anybody they want, you know what I'm saying? That's the kind of energy I get from the King of Wands. Alright, I'm sorry, but that's just what I do. Alright, who is this King of Wands and why is he here, Spirit? Please and thank you. Can we get some clarification with this Ten of Cups? This is a family member? Huh. Ten of Cups. Wish fulfillment, emotional fulfillment, family. Right? Friends. This King of Wands could be a family member. Take it how it resonates. Mm, Spirit, what are you trying to show us here? But oh, we damn sure got a towel out here. Mm -hmm. And the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, something done changed. Somebody done got caught. We got the Knight of Pentacles. Slow moving energy. Right on the Seven of <coughs> Swords. This gives me the energy of somebody was doing something for a long time. This person was doing this for a long time. What's the spirit? What is this Knight of Pentacles? With this queen, king of wands, Jesus, get it together, girl. Temperance, balance, right on the wheel of fortune. Something's about to be balanced out. Somebody's been doing something deceptive for a very long time. For a very long time, but shit's about to be balanced out. Now, the universe is saying enough is a fuck enough. Excuse my French, y'all. I'm so sorry. But I feel like the universe is saying enough is enough. Yeah, now it's time to balance some things out. We're in Mercury retrograde, so maybe it'll come out, you know, during this retro. Oh, damn. There go another one. Excuse me, y'all. Uh, listen. The Hierophant. Ooh-wee. Oh, yes. This is the universe. This is God saying, uh-uh, we got to straighten this out. Whatever, whatever's been going on, what y'all been doing, ooh-wee, yes, we got the death card, the three of cups, the seven of swords, mm, 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 mm. and this was family, this could be, this could very well be a family member, this cycle is complete, this cycle is complete, this is the hierophant stepping in, this is God stepping in and saying, uh-uh, all of, what, Everything has to come down. Everything has to be exposed. Everything has to be known so that somebody can close this cycle out. <coughs> Spirit don't want you to close this. Want you to, to move forward without having all the information that you need to close this cycle out. And I'm going to tell you why. It's because once you close this cycle out, you don't want none of these motherfuckers, right? Excuse my French, but I'm going to speak the way I speak. You don't want none of these people coming back into your life. Come on, Spirit. Because, listen, you got an Ace of Pentacles. This is going to be your justice. Mm -hmm. You don't want none of these people. 
So these could be, wow, these could be the three people that was collaborating together. All right, your person, their mistress, and a family member of yours or theirs. Take it how it resonates. Yep, working together. And this mistress could very well be this king of wands person. So your family member could be sleeping with this person. Your ex could be sleeping with this person. Take it how it resonates. Hmm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Judgment. <laughs> Judgment. Judgment. Look. Judgment. You see them three? Two men and a woman, ain't it? In reverse. Man, listen, listen, listen. So you got a family member that's been sleeping with the ops and your ex is sleeping with the same op. Peep that. <laughs> Ooh -wee. So this has been going on. Listen, the sun is coming to light. Queen of, listen, Queen of Cups and the Two of Cups in reverse. Stop playing. Wow. Page of Cups in reverse. That's three people here. This is very immature energy, lustful energy, drinking sex. You know, immature energy. Not no commitment, no none of that. This is very immature childish energy. Mm -mm, judgment. The sun. It's about to be exposed. Balance is about to be be brought into the situation about somebody being a love, having lovers. Yeah, about yes. Excuse me. And with this lovers, look, four of wands. And with this lovers in reverse, this is like forbidden. Okay, especially when it comes right up under the hierophant. This is forbidden love. This was not supposed to be. This is uh, taboo love. So this is like family. Sleeping with other family members. You know what I'm saying? Your family sleeping with your people. That's what's been going on here. Queen of Cups in reverse. Somebody very selfish, very greedy, very needy. Alright? Because the opposite of giving love is needing love, wanting love, but not receiving it. This is somebody, look, she got a hand over the cup. Do you hear me? She only got one foot in, and she's in reverse. Very bitter energy. I heard gossipy. I heard gossipy, uh, snobbish, this type of person that, that looks down their nose at people, that thinks they're better than other people. And I'm also picking up something about um, your complexion. This person may have felt like they were better than you because they were lighter than you. That's the energy I'm picking up. Somebody felt like because they were or maybe they're different race than you or something but it's definitely about your your um about this about your skin about your culture about who you are they thought they were better than you yes they did but this cycle's complete mm-hmm oh hey come on spirit what's this message for my collective here yeah. oh hey somebody thought they was better than you yeah, this King of Wands, yeah, they've been playing, they've been playing for a long time. They they've been having they've been playing for for a minute. And I and I heard in your face. I heard in your face. Mm, 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 mm. Spirit, what's this message? What we got here? Six of Wands in the moon. You got victory over what's been hidden. You over listen. The see, look, the sun and the moon is coming out. You're gonna have victory. You gonna listen. Stay focused on what you're doing. Your nine, of, your uh, seven of pentacles, child. Y'all got to forgive me today. <laughs> yes, you're investing. You're investing in your peace, your stability. You're alone. You know what I'm saying? You're focused. You're winning. You're winning. You overcame. You overcame what these people tried to hide and what they were trying to do in the dark. People admire you. They admire your tenacity, your bravery, right? There's something that you do that people admire about you, your wisdom. 
your viewpoint on things too because look how high you are and then you got a uh, is the hawk or a falcon on your shoulder that's somebody that's that gets things from a high perspective all right hmm There's people cheering you on. There's people that's rooting for you. This could also be something about your spirituality as well. Because that's what I'm picking up. You overcame something. You sure did. You became the victor. People, people are looking at you in awe and respect you. You know what I'm saying? Spirit, what's this message? Page of Wands. A message coming in. Messenger. You could be a messenger. Thank you, Spirit. Mm. Somebody's very spiritual. You get messages from, from the universe, from nature, from from the environment. Mm. Come on, spirit. What's this message? I feel like maybe that was hidden, too. I, I feel like that was hidden uh, from people about you. With this moon here and the six of wands and the page of wands. Hmm. Spirit, what's going on here? My collector. Oh, the washing machine stopped. Finally. <laughs> I forgot all about it. I'm going to put my stuff in the dryer. Ace of Pentacles. Look at that. You were the blessing. You were the blessing. With this page of wands in the sun. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Five of Cups. You're over it. You ain't dealing with these people no more. You're going to close this cycle out. It could be up to three people. I told you. Three people. There it is again. Them three damn cups. And two more that you're thinking about. That you're ready to pour out. If they ain't acting right. If they don't get their story straight. Right? Come on, spirit. <laughs> if they don't get their story straight. Right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What's going on here, spirit? Anything else my collective needs to know before I close this out? Justice, look at that. <laughs> this is your justice. You get this get this eight of pentacles. You may have had to juggle in the past. Yeah. You may even have felt isolated and alone. With this four of pentacles, you're working hard to try to create your own stability. You know what I'm saying? Putting things together. Working by yourself. Overcoming. Yep, the hermit. Getting the enlightenment. Mm hmm Yes. You know who's been attacking you. You know exactly who's been doing it. Mm-hmm. Look, spirit. Look, look, you know who it is. You see them. You see them. And they watching you. And they see that they did not defeat you. Look at that, the Ten of Swords. They see that it didn't work. Whatever they was trying to do, whatever they was collaborating to do, it didn't work. Somebody had a big ass ego too. Look how big that sword is. Somebody really thought they had this shit in the bag. They thought they was that master man or woman. Take it how it resonates. Alrighty, 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 alright, y'all. That's your message. Let me get y'all a um. Let me get your high self work on. Then I'm gonna get on up off of here. Let's get y'all a high self oracle, and then I'm gonna let you go. Yeah, you about to find out. It's about to come out. Yep, some things are about to come out. You about to know who all the major players was. <laughs> Can I get one spirit? Just one for my collective. Okay, Ooh, look y'all, we got perseverance and expect the unexpected. Look at that. You overcame, you persevered through the storm. You didn't You didn't climb out the boat, you hear me? You didn't try to jump off the, the train when it was going through the tunnel. You stayed, you trusted God, you trusted your intuition. You were guided. Come on, you're the empress. You already know. The Empress embodies all the queens. So you done been through all different situations. You already knew what it was. Come on now. Perseverance and expect the unexpected. I'm going to read both of them. Since they came out together. Uh, perseverance. 85. Somebody could have been born in 85. Somebody could be 58. Take it how it resonates. Perseverance. Perseverance is not a long race. 
it is many short races, one after the other. Remember when I said you embodied all the queens. You have to go through different situations with each queen. You have to level up from each queen. You have to learn each queen's characteristics. You have to take those on. You have to put embody those each, and then you become the empress. Listen, perseverance is not a long race. It's many short races, one after the other. Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, Queen of Cups. And what's the other one? Queen of Wands, Queen of Cups, Queen of Swords. Hmm. Where you far from? Something fell over here. All right, let's see. You are doing too much and it is time. Oh, that's the wrong one. <laughs> this card comes. <laughs> Somebody's doing too much. <laughs> okay. This card comes to you as a form of encouragement as you strive to achieve your goals. All paths to success are fraught with challenges, setbacks, and sometimes disappointments. But don't let these deter you from moving forward on your path. You are being reminded that you carry the strength of source. Come on now. Source energy within you and you must realize your own courage to continue. If you are on the verge of wanting to give up, keep the following in mind. First, develop a growth mindset. A growth mindset is realizing that your skills and talents can be developed with time, effort, energy, and persistence. Second, set clear benchmarks along the way. By doing this, you will see the progress you've made, which will encourage you to continue. Third, build your mental resilience by identifying unhealthful mental patterns, right? And shifting your perspective to see challenges and setbacks as opportunities to learn, right? Fourth, change your relationship with failure. Failure is traditionally defined as a lack of success, but it's, it is really, but it really is an opportunity to learn and grow. By studying the lessons of failure, specifically you will you specifically where you didn't succeed, you will learn why you failed and what you can do better next time. Your higher self is asking that you release the fear of failing since this was de will deter you from persevering. Remember failure is the universe's way of teaching you and rerouting you to your destination. When the doors of opportunity close, remember that this is not a sign of failure, but rather a sign that this door is not right for you and will not lead you to what you want, to lead you to what you have been seeking. Keep striving for your dreams and don't let obstacles or fear hold you back. Okay, now let's see. Un expect the unexpected. Mm. Expect the unexpected. Let me see the E. 49. Somebody could be 49. Somebody could be born in 94. Take it how it resonates. <sighs> Where we at? All right. Is it? 94.90. Where the hell is it? Transformation, expected, unexpected. All right. Okay, maybe I read that wrong. Let me see, guys. I go back. Expect the unexpected. Forty-nine ninety-four. Also, some page forty-nine. <laughs> I was that—that that was a dyslexic moment. <laughs> I read it backwards. All right, unexpected, unexpected, unexpected. You have to take risk. We will understand the miracle of life fully only when we allow the unexpected to happen. Mm. When a spirit incarnates into Earth, they have a dream in their heart they desire to manifest during their journey. This dream may include being of service to others in some way, such as uplifting humanity. Am I reading the right one? I just want to make sure, y'all. Okay. Such as uplifting humanity, healing the sick, illuminating minds, or even balancing the scales of justice. <laughs> the journey of bringing our service to the world is riddled with setbacks, detours, disappointments, and small wins. However, if you've been striving for a long time to materialize your hopes, dreams, and desires, this card congratulates you for your perseverance. Come on now. And 42, your higher self comes to tell you that your faith, your persistence, and all your hard work has paid off. Come on, spirit. And a surprise is coming your way. Something you've been hoping for, trying to manifest and bring into being. It is on its way to you. This may be support from an unexpected source, a new opportunity, divine assistance, a miraculous blessing, or even a gift. If you've been doubting your higher self, if you've been doubting, your higher self assures you that you have not been forgotten. Stay positive and expect something from the universe to help you on your path forward. 
Oh, I love it. So all is not in vain, right? All is not in vain. Although it may be painful, right? But it's all part of the lesson. It's all part of where the universe is trying to take you. See, sometimes we have to encounter painful shit like this so we can see. Otherwise, they, they keep doing it behind our back and the universe can't bless us because they just hit, they just going to steal it. Right? So it's important for God, for us to recognize the people in our energy. So when we come into our blessings, we're not, you know, just throwing it, you know, throwing our pearls uh, to swine, right? Because all they're going to do is trample all over it. They won't respect it. They won't appreciate it. That's why we have to have these situations because if not, we, we'll continue on this path and we'll never make it to where we're supposed to go because we're always being an illusion, right? It's all a part of life. Life learning. Life lessons. All right, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed the message. I will see you guys in the next one. All right. Have a good day. Deuce.